Hello and welcome everyone to the very first episode of The Backlog. I'm your host, VGM Corin, and on this show we're going to be playing games that I've owned, maybe played a little, but never beaten. Starting that off, we're going to be playing Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I hope you're looking forward to this as much as I am. Now, before I get started here, there's one thing I want to make note of, and that's that there are no subtitles and the cutscenes are extremely quiet. I don't know why, but... Well, that's just what we're going to have to deal with. So let's get started here. I have a bitchin' palace. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time. And I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you the tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men, we passed through India. Where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. Now, my son. I think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought, or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell. If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment I thought of one thing only, the honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in my first battle. I mean, it is a pretty bitchin' battle. Oh, that, that was a well-aimed shot. So, like I said, this is a game that, even though I should have played long ago, I never actually have. I've played about 30 minutes of it total, and now, now you're going to see just how bad I am at it for yourself. So, I have no good things to say right now. Oh, slow motion running through. Like, wow. That that seemed a little unnecessary. Uh, let's see. Press F for first person view. Press Q for bow. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know why more games don't have something like that. Uh, left click to smack things. Always a good thing to know. Oh, that's a thing to smack. Now, from what I remember, combat in this game is mostly mashing on attack, and yep, that was that was about right. And just so everyone knows, because I am getting keyboard prompts, I am playing this with a keyboard and mouse. Um, that probably makes me a terrible person. A close up of my face. I like that. I am pretty good looking prince after all. Many men that day sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Kosro said to Rustam, You are the noblest of my warriors. From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing. 
but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. He said as he killed a bunch of people. I mean, that doesn't seem quite fair. Oh god, slow motion suicide. Not, not the best. Ah, okay. We'll be right back. And we're back. So this time I won't kill myself, which is probably a better way to play this game. Anyway, we'll just kill these people instead. So, right click blocks, jump and space dodges. That's all pretty standard. That guy really liked running at that box. It's for the best. Oh, I broke him and his box. And face shot. Well, can't complain about getting to look cool, I guess. Who would make a hallway like this? Oh, God. These damn trebuchets are just making the perfect platforming experience tutorial for a tutorial. There we go. Words are useful. Ladder. I, I want to climb the ladder. Yay! Anything over here? No. Uh, okay, so water. Hmm. Restore strength, hold special right click to drink water. D yeah, water! In my face. Okay. That may have been a little much for a recovery, but I can get into it. Oh, hey, another perfect trebuchet shot. And more people to kill. I won't find any glory killing them, though. Apparently. Watch out, he's going to leap strike on you. I mean, that is probably the worst leap strike I've seen, but that's okay. Not everyone can fly six feet into the air to leap strike someone. I'm a little hurt, I could go back and get some water, but I'll probably just die again before that matters. Now, one thing I can say so far, I am enjoying this experience, despite the fact that the graphics are a little painful. It's a fun game, the mechanics are holding up well. I hope that continues to be the case. For now, we're going to keep crawling into perfectly blasted holes that will lead me to treasure. Oh, and killing some dudes. To vault over an enemy. Let's see, move toward an enemy and jump. Oh, oh, yeah, slow motion. That, that is the leap kill. And I hope that's slow motion every time. Let's, let's find out. Aw. So I'm assuming that's a guard break move of some sort. Or maybe it's just to look really cool. Anyway, they're dead. Close up a face, close up a face. Yeah. Always like to see my face. Up, oh, jumping slowly. So every time you do something new, it seems you go into slow motion. That's kind of, that's kind of fun. All right. Shall I continue my story from here the next time we're interrupted? Yes, saving would be great. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Well, looks like we've gone away from all the fighting. And now, we're just in a well. I bet I'm not supposed to be down here. I bet I was supposed to do something cool like run on the wall, and I just didn't. Yeah, yeah, it was telling me that I needed to be awesome and run on the wall. Well, that's unfortunate for me. Let's see. Press... Oh, hey, wall jumping. Why? Okay, if you can jump there that... There it lay, just out of reach. The dagger of time. 
There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. Run across the walls. If you can jump this well normally, why is his leap strike two inches off the ground? Huh. Now, one thing that's really surprised me is that the jump button is context sensitive. So even though I may be jumping a lot, if I just press space, I tend to roll around and oh god, spinny, spinny woods. Spinny woods. Oh, spiky poles. Well, that's, that is a much more professional name for that. Glad I didn't mess that up by calling it something stupid like spinny poles or spike. Oh god. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Was I supposed to be... Yeah, I was supposed to be cool. This is the problem with playing a lot of games, is you tend to start going everywhere you shouldn't first. But I hope you'll forgive me. I hope you'll forgive me for dying. And we're back. And this time we're not going to jump, because I see that platform which I was supposed to be on in the first place. Oh no! Spinny woods! Spiky poles? I don't know. I don't remember. So, run on the wall, jump across, and win. Okay, here's a new place. Oh no! But stop that. Oh, it really is nice of these platforms to break off in a specific way to where I can still get through no matter what happens. And up. And down. Pole. And more poles. To jump quickly from column to column, that doesn't seem wise. To point towards the next column and press space. Oh, okay. Let's try it. Ah, oh, that's not so bad. And jump off the column. So, this Dagger of Time doesn't really sound like something we should be stealing, but I can dig it. Wall jumping onto hands and fingers. And more traditional wall jumping. Alright, let's try this. Let's fail at this. Let's get a little further than fail again. Oh, now we got it. So, Dagger of Time. what I came for. It was time to get out. Now. Oh god. Why would they build spikes under all their platforms? That just seems mean in case there's an architectural error. Uh, no, no! Okay. What are we doing here? Oh, I get it. And we're back to the spinny woods. Father, I have brought us honor and glory. Your majesty, you promised.
has been my choice. The Mahabharata's treasure is that dagger. Surely you won't deny the lad a souvenir from his first battle. You may have your choice of all the Maharaja's other treasures. Except that hourglass. That will make a blind gift for the Sultan of Azad when we pass through the city. And some exotic animals for his menagerie. And a dozen slave birds. Yes, that should be enough. I want no animals or maidens harmed until I have chosen. Let it be known, King Sharaman is merciful in victory. <laughs> not a man who has betrayed his master, nor take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this to my sorrow, the day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend, my friend your visit brings joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling. If only you had given me time to prepare a proper welcome. The glories of Azad are famed throughout the world. to come. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time itself. The sand, why does it glow? I answer you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel. Only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. A young prince, dearer to his father than all the wealth of Asia. Perhaps he will oblige. No. All the bad ideas, all at once. So those guys don't look very nice. Dagger. Huh. Okay. Monstrous living death. Prince, the dagger! It will go back to time! Alright, so. Oh, more guys. You know, these guys are kind of ugly. Do it now! Turn uh, back the sands of time before you die! How? Let's see, if I was going to map a rewind key, where would I put it? Ah! 
R for rewind. As I turn back time, and obvious joke is obvious. So there are a lot of dudes. I don't want to stab them. Uh, I want to stab this guy and to eat his sands. There we go. Glowy light. And a princess. I want a glowy light and princess. Well, looks like I don't get princess. I do get a glowy light though. And that seems like a good stopping point for any for our first episode. Stop the story so, here next time. I will see you all next time.